Hey guys, so the time has finally arrived for me to do a video that probably only I will care about. <laughs> As you all know, I say it multiple times, Natalie Dormer is my favourite actor of all time. She's a huge inspiration to me. Her acting style, the things she acts in, just everything about her, I just idolise her a lot. And I thought it was about time I showed you my Natalie Dormer collection. So we'll start with the autographs because there's a few of them. I have 12 Natalie Dormer autographs now. So like I mentioned, Natalie Dormer of course played Marjorie Tyrell in Game of Thrones and these two photos are of her as Marjorie. The one on the left is dedicated to Emma, although it's a little hard to see, and the one on the right is just a generic one. Behind that is the generic letter you get from Natalie Dormer because she pre-signs photos now. Next up we have a Venus in Fur theatre flyer signed by her and a generic uh, headshot signed by her. Again, the headshot on the right is dedicated to me. You'll see more about Venus in Fur a little bit later on. I'm very, very gutted that I wasn't able to go. Then we have two more, both dedicated to me, and again, both of these are photos of her playing Marjorie Tyrell, who is my all-time favourite Game of Thrones character, in part due to Natalie Dormer, but I've always been House Tyrell, and I loved Marjorie in the books as well. Then we have two more autographs here. Unfortunately, the one on the right is uh, damaged, as you can see. I can't really remember what happened there, but I was gutted about it. These are both dedicated to me. The one on the left is like a generic headshot kind of thing that I sent her. It, my camera doesn't want to focus. And the one on the right is her as Cressida in The Hunger Games. Then we have two more, both headshots and both undedicated. And again, that generic Natalie Dormer letter, if you write to her. Then um, Natalie Dormer voiced Marjorie Tyrell in the Game of Thrones Telltale game. So I had to send her a photo of Marjorie in the Telltale game. I love the Game of Thrones Telltale game and I do collect autographs from it. And the final Natalie Dormer autograph I own, but let's be real, it won't be the last, is her as Anne Boleyn. In. Um, I wrote to her lots and lots of times, again this is dedicated, and I never got an Anne Boleyn photo so I kept begging for an Anne Boleyn photo and I think they eventually gave up and just sent me one. One of the reasons I love Natalie Dormer so much is because she portrays characters that I already love. So Anne Boleyn as a historical figure is one of my favourite historical figures, her story, everything about her, and I loved Anne Boleyn before I even watched the Tudors, but obviously Natalie playing her in the Tudors just makes it all the better for me. So that's all of my Natalie Dormer autographs currently. Let's get on to other bits. So on my wall in my bedroom, I have these three Natalie Dormer photos framed. I just think they look beautiful. And it's my favourite, the two on the left and right are my favourite photo shoot that Natalie Dormer's ever done. And then down here, I have my The Tudors promo card framed, which of course has Natalie on it and one of my prized pieces, which is a piece of costume worn by Natalie Dormer in The Tudors, as you can see just there. Then we have this one. Uh, my dad broke the frame, so he's buying me another one. This is a picture that Daniel gave me of Daniel's autograph collection, so I need to get that in a new frame. So we might as well go through some of the Game of Thrones bits that feature Natalie, Marjorie. So we have this little figure, which I absolutely love. My camera will not focus on it, I don't think, but I have done Instagrams on that, and I have kept the box as well. Then we have all my seasons of Game of Thrones. Natalie Dormer came in in season two, I believe. I'm sure it was season two, yeah. I don't want to give too many spoilers away about um, Marjorie Tyrell, so I won't say a lot, but she was in some of these seasons of Game of Thrones. And then this isn't really related to Natalie Dormer, but I do have my House Tyrell mug because that is my house. I also have a House Tyrell coaster, House Tyrell cufflinks, and a House Tyrell pin. Then there's Natalie Dormer there. This is a Marjorie Tyrell fit figure, the dark horse figure. So this is what the figure looks like and I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. And that's the back of the box and that's the other side of the box. I also have the Marjorie Tyrell Funko Pop just up there and that's what the Funko looks like. Now I'm not going to pull them all out because I recently did a magazine collection but I can't remember if um, Natalie features in any of these Game of Thrones magazines so sorry about that. So on to the Hunger Games because Natalie Dormer of course played Cressida in Mockingjay Part 1 and Mockingjay Part 2. The reason Part 2 doesn't have a DVD sleeve is because I actually sent it off to Natalie and lost it so I bought another one. So she's of course in those two movies. And Cressida does actually feature in this Hunger Games Empire magazine. So there's a small little section about Cressida. I don't know if you can read that. So we'll move on to some of my The Tudor bits featuring Natalie and then we'll move on to some miscellaneous things. So I have my The Complete Series of The Tudors, Series 1 to 4 box set. Natalie is on the back, just the far left there. 
Disc three of that box set features Natalie as Anne, as does disc two of season two. Then sorry about the glare, but I have the Tudors season two soundtrack, of course, Natalie on the front and on the back as well, and also pictures of her in the booklet. Then I have all of the books that are related to the Tudors TV show. As you can see, Natalie is on the front of this one. Then we have this one on the right, King Takes Queen. And I do also have the two other books related to the Tudors, but Natalie's not actually on these ones. Wait, I lied, she's on the back. <laughs> Then I have the first season of the Tudors on Blu-ray and as you can see she is just there. It won't focus very well though, I think she's probably on the back as well. And again on disc 3, I just love the discs for the Tudors, I think this is fantastic. I also have the Tudors, the complete series 1 to 3, I'm not going to go through it but again there's picture discs and photos of Natalie in here. And I do have season 3 and 4 on their own as well and Natalie's just there on this one. So that's all my bits related to the Tudors so far, let's just move now on to miscellaneous items. So Daniel of Daniel's autograph collection sent me three Natalie Dormer photos that he no longer needed. One of them you've previously seen in a frame. This was the other one he sent me, which is just beautiful. And this one, which is actually my phone background. <laughs> Okay, so we're nearly done, I promise. Next up is my Natalie Dormer DVD collection. So like I said, I've already shown you Game of Thrones, The Hunger Games and The Tudors. So I have The Forest, which wasn't my favourite film, to be honest. Um, as horrors go, it's not very scary. Um, it's not an amazing film, but I do love Natalie in it. She plays Sarah and Jess Price. Then we have Casanova which Natalie's in, and if I'm completely honest with you, I can't lie to you, I've not actually watched it yet. Then we have W.E., which is a film by Madonna, and as you know, my mum has a Madonna collection, so technically we share this one. Natalie, again, is in this, but again, I have to be honest, I haven't watched it, so I need to sit and watch that one. And the final Natalie Dormer DVD I own is The Scandalous Lady W, so there are a few I still need to get for my collection. This is only 90 minutes long, I believe, so it's not a very long movie at all. I love it so much. Like, guys, honestly, I love this movie. It's based on a real story. Then we have my Venus in Fur program, which was kindly sent to me as a Christmas present by Emily. Emily, you know how much this means to me. I did a video on this for my Vlogmas. Thank you so much. So Emily actually went to see Venus in Fur with Natalie in it. I'm so jealous. It's not even a thing. I can't. And she kindly sent me this program, which I love. So the final things I have to show you are my Natalie Dorman magazines. I will skim through these very quickly because, like I said, not long ago I did a complete magazine collection and I showed these. My aim is to collect every single magazine which has Natalie Dormer on the front as the cover star. I'm so close to that. There's not that many left that I need to get. So we have Style magazine. And if you want to know more about the articles in these um, and about what it says about Natalie, I've posted them all on my Instagram. So please please go and check that out, uh, you know, the articles inside. Stylist magazine, probably my favourite cover actually. ES magazine, TV Guide, which is about the scandalous Lady W, Radio Times, which is also about the scandalous Lady W, and Culture. So like I said, I'm so close to getting every Natalie Dormer cover magazine, one day. So that is my complete Natalie Dormer collection. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. Again, if you're as interested in Natalie as I am, all of the articles in here I have put on my Instagram. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.